that what are the tools we have into our succession planning. So to navigate the same, admin can go into this home drop down and he can select the succession here. Now admin doesn't have any position, but yeah, this is why this is appearing, but he can identify one position. For example, there is a position. Uh, Cooper is the holding person. Okay, let me switch from position to people here. So see, there are two type of succession planning we uh, actually use. First is, and one is like uh, there were three, but now in real time we are using only two. So there are three type of nominations we have. First is role person, then position, then MDF position. Role person is basically the old legacy method where you know we nominate the employ as a successor for a person not for a position so the person you know if person uh, became incumbent so that next person would be holding that position so it's like the replacement of a person not for a, not position. a position not a position so yeah. this is actually we are not using right now means not yeah. for a legacy system also where ec is not available now where ec is not available the legacy one where we use the position nominations basically so what we do here we have you know our udf you know so user data file there is a title standard field so those titles will become the positions within our system and then we can nominate the persons you know directly for those positions basically so this is just that if we have employee central now positions is a mdf object right so that mdf object uh, will be used then so if we have employee central we will use the mdf position nominations where this position management mdf position management would automatically integrated with our succession planning and we will do the we will use the same positions which are created into that position mdf okay and if we don't have so it's not the, the aim uh, to tell you this actually that see if we don't have EC also. So it's not that we cannot conduct the succession planning. We can have only the position management cannot be used. So we have to use the user data file there. So uh, we will see that what are the, you know, uh, uh, settings we have to do if we don't have EC. But most of the clients uh, in current scenarios has EC and employee central and they have position management also. So we will be more, you know, focus on this MDA position nomination basically. But I'll, I'll give you an idea about legacy one also. So this is actually the position uh, which is coming from my MDA position. Now, okay. for example, my no, what, is what, what, what is the third type? Uh, role person, position nomination, then uh, what's the third one? Yeah, the one is legacy position management. Second is MDA position management. Legacy one means there is no EC available. So without EC, okay. we cannot use the position management, right? EC right. should be there. So if we don't have EC, it's not that we cannot use the succession planning. We can use, we can utilize. What okay. we have to do, we have to take, you know, help of user data file. Mm -hmm. you know? okay. But if we have EC, so we have MDA position. M MDA position and position management also would be there. MDF is master data file, right? Yeah, metadata framework basically. All these positions and you know, like departments or like some of the foundation objects moved into MDF now. You know, okay. so okay. position is also a metadata framework now. It was, you know, previously the foundation object. Mm -hmm. It's just the nomenclature that got changed and the uh, maintenance of the positions are now within the employee central only, within one metadata framework. So MDF is basically, you can see here, metadata framework, and we, we may, you know, share fields with employee central. The position object is configured and managed into admin center in employee central. So uh, if we have positions, if we have employee central, uh, you would also see when you go into the system that is, you know, comes under managed data, under, you know, metadata framework. Now,
now where i was so yeah so these are the tools we have in succession of chart succession of sorry succession planning succession of chart position tile linear chart talent pool talent search and nine box one is based on you know performance and potential another based on objective versus competency so let's start from succession of chart so basically this is the look and feel of succession of chart what we can do here we can have the uh, top to bottom or bottom to top view of all the positions for whom you have permission actually so uh, for example as an admin if you have all the employees permission all employees permission so you would have all the positions available within succession of chart okay however if you are for example some employee some uh, not employee clients uh, use legal entity they they go with you know department by department so what they do they give this succession permission to uh, department head or legal entity head so in that case the legal entity head would have you know positions within his legal entity only so this succession planning is fully controlled by rbp okay if someone says that we want to restrict it we can do that there is no issue now uh, when i open one position it was uh, my cooper position okay i can see when i click on this position name i can see there are two successors already available let me delete them actually or let me focus on another position actually we do not focus this one for example there is a position vp recruitment now this position is not critical right now okay so from succession or chart or succession planning i can make this position critical or not critical also now one thing please note that marking positions critical not critical we can do from succession planning however there is no assessment for any position like uh, if i want to evaluate if this position is critical or not critical that i cannot do from the succession planning this is the internal process that the organization should do you know yeah. identifying the positions now here we so after the assessment uh, after the assessment we can enter only the data whether it is critical or not critical right the yes. criticality we cannot check in the system correct yeah, yeah. within within ec i can say that see it's like a whenever you can create whenever we create a position that time see position is part of employee center right so that time you can initiate some uh uh initiate some workflow or any questions we can add within that position that would result as a critical or not critical so that thing if someone will ask so you can just simply suggest that see in employee central we can have this kind of assessment mm -hmm. and uh, based on that we can mark this position critical not critical in succession plan in succession plan yeah yes so succession planning is not supporting that that the assessment like if i'll click on this and there should be a link to make this position critical not critical there should be assessment no we cannot trigger that but from employee central we can yes mm -hmm. it's like the uh, someone can help from employee central in uh, you know for that client now uh, when i go i have made that position as critical or not critical so you can see here there is a key icon appear right so a key icon means it says that this position is critical this position is critical these positions are not critical if i want to focus on only those positions which are critical i can click on this eye icon which is basically a display options and i can click on this highlight key positions only what will happen i can only see the key positions here and i can you know focus on those position you know adding the successors for example i want to add successor for vp procurement what i'll do i have just clicked on that position name i'll click on this add successor here our succession planning integrated with recruitment also so we can include the external candidates also which are there in pipeline but they are not part of the system right now you know there are some profiles available but they are not currently you know hired or their ids are not created for example so those recruitment uh, candidates can also be part of so if there is a situation where you know someone leave 
and we are just uh, doing the interviews for that position so we have the candidates and so we can make them as a successor for this position or not so once they you know join the company we can you know come back and we can make them external to internal candidate so this is like some scenarios that you can put uh, and now when i click on add so i have just chosen the internal one now here most important thing when we nominate and employ a successor we decide the readiness this readiness like ready now ready within 1 to 2 years 3 to 5 years and we have notes and we have development kpi which is development goals so our succession planning is basically integrated with cd career development planning if there is any development goal and you have the permission to view for that employee you can see that also now uh, amit sorry uh, amit always we can edit we can add successor in we can go directly to org chat and add the, add it there right yes. there's no other yeah this is the the easy way like or the, there are other ways also Yes, there are other ways also. We other can cover position also. tiles also. We can cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. cover the tiles. But we can always we can always go to Orchard and see their like department wise. You can take and we can mm -hmm. add directly to uh, the positions. Yeah, yeah, Correct? sure, sure. We yeah. can have we we have uh, uh, after this. I'll I'll cover the position tiles. So when you will also yeah. see that you know if we want to filter out some positions, we can do that also. So once you click on save. so this readiness scale is basically fully configured you know these colors these uh, yellow purple blue and the labels also we can you know have these uh, configuration we can manipulate these numbers and we can manipulate the orders also so we this can is can customize the colors also or is it yeah we can customize the labels colors labels and, yeah. and the order also you know this is like the standard practice we always follow ready now 1 to 2 years 3 to 5 years 5 plus years but yeah someone for example uh, ua uh, they always need uh, emergency replacement also right most of the client yeah. um, so in that case we can add that also okay so just to give okay. you i will cover this in technical part then i can also evaluate the readiness for this employee against this position so evaluation means for example when i click on this edit nomination i can see geofill is not ready because there is no readiness percentage available he will be ready in 1 to 2 years as my assumption but what i can do here i can see his you know goals and uh, everything performance potential and their nominations all these things their talent information talent card and you know talent flags are there reason for leaving impact of loss so this is my talent card we will we can configure this talent card so for each employee there would be a talent card and these informations would be coming from employee profile so in employee profile we have you know these standard portlets nominations uh, their you know talent flags their performance potential trained information their language skills these are my standard portlets career goals work experience certifications all these things so uh, if client requirement is we want these informations to be visible in succession planning yes we can do what we need to do just we have to click on this name of that employee and that position sorry talent card would be available to see when i click on this geofill i can see his talent card similarly if i want to see anyone else i can see okay so this talent card is also fully configurable we'll see how now uh what i was talking about that uh from the succession org chart if i want to you know remove a successor if i want to add a successor if i want to add more all these things are possible i can also evaluate his readiness when i click on this there would be a evaluation form will you know trigger for this employee it is basically the role readiness form where you know the competencies against this role this position vp procurement would be there in that form okay so have you have you have you ever encountered with performance form yes yes we do performance form yeah like so performance, performance uh, uh, is PMGM. also yes so this is also a performance form okay what we are doing we are evaluating 
this geofill readiness or you know capability in terms of rating from a performance form and the name is role readiness assessment what will happen when i click on send you know create and send to geofill the competencies which are required oh, for yeah. this vp okay that would be part of this form this so you can assume a performance form we'll cover this how to you know create and then the manager will rate that employee and at the end we will get the readiness and okay. amit uh, amit this uh, this review is exclusively for succession planning it's not uh, the pmgm one right no 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 pmgm so, form is different you know the yes. annual performance review is totally different this performance form we only create for succession plan okay uh, so for, for for this uh, for the succession planning this this is important or the review uh, has to be done in succession planning module mm -hmm. itself right yeah yeah so right. basically all the client need this see so what they can do they can just click on this as an admin they can evaluate that readiness and once that form is completed with ratings mm -hmm. i can click on this you know uh, and i can see the results for example if i want to see the results i can see from here also for example let me open this person when i click on this edit nomination and add successor add successor add successor vp operation basically add successor so currently 0000% is there you can see here readiness yeah. once there is a you know assessment then this percentage will increase according to the rating given by manager okay manager yeah so the manager is the one assessing it's not hr right it it we can the hr can send it to the manager and uh, he assess and the data will be filled filled here yes, yes. Correct? final rating can be a manager rating